Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Yeah, that's right, we're painting again. Got the old paints and the brushes out and we're gonna have a go at an eye painting. Uh, <laughs> something that I've seen um, on YouTube a lot and uh, I thought we'd add another one <laughs> to my take on it. Um, so I've got a canvas board up and I've got my print out of an eye which we're going to use as our guide. Um, if you've painted with me before, you'll know that I use images as guides. I don't copy them exactly because it takes a long time to do that. <laughs> and I want to do this in real time. And I've already mixed this colour up um, already and I forgot to put my camera on. <laughs> so that's been edited out. So. Um, I'll explain what I've done. Let's have a look at the uh, colours that I've got. Let me just move this knife out of the way. What I've done is I've mixed a skin tone up, which is about this colour. This is the colour that I looked at. And then I can use that as my mid-tone for the whole of the face. Well, the whole of the eye. <laughs> Outside of the eye. <laughs> um, that's got a bit more blue in it here. But I went for this anyway as my beginner colour. And uh, it is, turned out uh, almost the same. And what we've got is, uh, I've got my colours. Uh, these, I sort of set my palette up thinking eye colour over here and then skin over there. So yellow, when I make um, skin tones, I'm always thinking yellow ochre, cadmium red, and black. Uh, I always use these three, and um, and I've got my burnt umber as well, just in case. Uh, I can't quite make it with them, and then I've got my blue, ultramarine blue, to cool things down if needed, and then uh, I've got green here which I can't really see any green in the skin tone. Maybe there's a bit in one area, but not much. So I thought we'd have a go at this eye. And uh, yeah, so it's the mixture in the middle, the skin mixture, skin tone mixture, is black, blue. Um, there was a, it was really a blob of black, blob of blue a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, and then a blob of white. So it was probably uh, more black and blue. And then, because the red is quite strong, you didn't need as much. And then it needed a bit of yellow. And then uh, I made this color, and which is almost the same. It looks quite dark on the uh, canvas. But when you put it on there, it vanishes. <laughs> so I know it's about right. That's that's what I always do now when I'm mixing a colour. I'll put it on the uh, quite a thick blob on top of the um, lamination and see how it goes. And if it vanishes, well, happy days. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll scrub in a uh, thin mixture of this skin tone onto the uh, outside part. I'll leave a little bit of a gap. And that can be our Get a tiny bit of water just to make it move a little bit better. Some down here as well. The reason I don't want to put too much colour on is because I want to be able to uh, use light and dark. Another thing that I always do. <laughs> always is I, I think light and dark light and dark when I'm uh, putting my colour in and of course 
If I am sat an arm distance away, I'm just going to get a bit of white. Already starting to uh, get a feel of things. It's weird actually, um, suddenly I'll start to feel like like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, when the first part of um, doing a painting, it's always a little bit, I'm always trying to be cautious because I don't get that sense that I can do this straight away. I just sort of, um, just put a bit of red in. Need that to be quite red. Looking at that colour, it's quite red, isn't it? In that skin. Yeah. So I'll put in a bit of red there. I'm going to be, uh, as always, I'm going to be quite loose. This is my uh, fun time. When I do these videos, I, I consider them to be the fun part of painting. <laughs> so I really enjoy doing them and uh, it's great to see people learning from them and doing their own painting so it makes me feel good that other people are learning from my videos. And uh, when I first started painting there wasn't that much around now there's loads <laughs> on YouTube. I was so desperate looking for information when I first started. And I mean look, there's some great channels out there now. Mine. <laughs> My channel. Clive's channel if you've uh, had a look at one of uh, our collaborations. See, there's, there's different things to me, and uh, I think that's good because we all have different methods of painting. It's another channel I like uh, Brandon Schaefer, he's got some good videos. And I, I really like uh, cartooning as well. So I watch some channels where they draw cartoons. Right, I'm just adding bits of red, I'm just throwing bits of red in, you know, on the side of the eye, this warmth here, just mixing it in with my colour. Um, a little bit here, it's mixed in with the skin tone. A bit of colour there. And then always sit back, have a look. Just wipe my brush with this wet wipe. So recently someone, uh, just looking at, I've got some paper towels somewhere but I've lost them. <laughs> uh, oh, they're over there. Okay, just wiping my chin because when I went to get my paper towels I uh, stabbed myself in the face with a brush. <laughs> right, <clears throat> I think that will uh, do for the skin. Maybe some yellow ochre in there actually. Looking at this bit here, here, on here, it's got a bit of yellow ochre in it. So I'll throw that in there. Okay, right, I'm going to start working on the eye because <laughs> that's what I'm looking forward to doing. So let's use another brush 
and um, looking at this eye with my eyes <laughs> uh, the first thing I look at I'm like okay black center of course uh, dark at the top yeah so we need to capture that darkness at the top because uh, that's where the eye eyelid is casting a bit of a shadow on the eye and then we've got a highlight and we definitely need to put that on last I'll uh, control myself there I'll be desperate to put that on all the way through that little dot <laughs> it makes all the difference and uh, and then we've got little bits of yellow in there um, which I mean yellow ochre and white and there's a light bit which I think the viridian green will work perfect hopefully and then we've got to do the whites of the eye either side um, which got a bit of a grey tone, bluey grey on one side and then a yellowy sort of white dull on the other side so the light, I mean as we can see where the highlight is, the light's coming from one side so we need to think about that as well and while I'm thinking I'm going to twist my brush in there and just do little, little spinny strokes I'm just doing this to create that roundedness now uh, if you're right handed it'd be easier for you to do this on this side <laughs> if you're left handed it'd be easier for you to do this side there we go it's roundish we can always sort of go over the lines a bit and then I can uh, mess around a bit <laughs> so let's get some of this green this viridian viridian green and black viridian green and black and we need this shape remember this is quite dark it's quite dark up here comes up round across Just looking uh, at that distance between the top of the eye and that top bit there, and it's yeah, it's about right. Well, that's good because <laughs> I did wonder it looked a bit off. Need to uh, need to eyeball this, <laughs> make sure it's right. <laughs> Uh, couldn't help that. It's good to have it stick a few bad jokes in there. Okay, and looking over here, some green. There's actually a touch of blue in there, so I'm going to put a touch of blue in my colour. I might have put too much of a touch in then. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Okay, and then I like that shape there. I tried my best to get this shape right when I was doing the drawing because it's kind of important, really. Isn't it? <laughs> Let's get a bit of white. Let's have a look what my colour is. Yeah, I need some more green in it. Okay, that's not too bad, let's see how that looks. Just sort of thinking about this area. Sort of going outwards with my strokes. strokes might help in creating that eye shape yeah okay and uh, I think just 
wipe this brush. Oops. <laughs> I just went to wipe the brush and took the whole top off. Ugh. That's not wiping, let's break it, damn it. Alright, let's get some yellow ochre on this little brush. And I want to sort of create these bits. Just sort of go along here. I think yellow ochre works quite nice. It's a nice golden yellow, isn't it? I do like it. It's become my favourite. Golden yellow of yellow ochre. When you uh, paint, uh, you start liking certain colours more and your palette will start developing because of the colours that you use most in your pictures and some people will get a paint set and they'll use those colours that they got and then uh, that's all they needed. <laughs> I like this small brush. I'm sort of looking now at what kind of um, effects I can do. I'm going to get some quite strong green and white, make a light colour. So it's quite light over here. I'm going to bring that in. Sort of bring it into the dark areas. Need to kind of uh, get this a uh, bit better as well. Apologies, my stomach is rumbling. Soon, soon be tea time. <laughs> it's funny when your stomach constantly makes noise, isn't it? Alright, let's sit back and have a look at that. Yeah, I think it'll help us if we start putting in... Uh, I'm just going to do this. Just put in some random... marks in there. Okay. I think it'll help me if I put some of the white around the eye so then I've got something to look at. <laughs> something for me to see. <laughs> Another eye. What, what did you say? I see what you mean. <laughs> mm. I don't believe it. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, let's get serious. Grabbing some black and blue, black and blue, black and blue, yes, no, yes, yes, close, no, too dark. Black and blue. Uh, yeah, I quite like that. It's sort of a greyish blue, but I quite like it. Just going to wipe those bits off. That's why the lamination is a good idea because you can test your colour and then go and wipe it off. You can start all over again. <laughs> yeah, so we've gone for this bluish colour. Hmm. 
again this is our base colour green just mixed in with it but I don't mind that we can sort of blend this edge a bit yeah so that's quite nice actually think about the edge bit there and then uh, we probably should put this bit in here because then we've got a guide for the uh, bit of eye so it's a bit of skin colour I haven't cleaned my brush I've still got some blue on it let's get some more of that blue yeah so it's this skin colour with blue in it and let's look at this about there and then we can probably lighten this a bit but it's good to uh, get the base in there let's get some bit of the skin colour up to there as well Too much about that area. I'm just going to get some white and get a touch of that red. Be nice to lighten some of these areas a bit. Do that bit there, and then uh, I'm going to lighten this along here as well, just to smooth it. I'll bring that into that yellow. helps having that original colour on there okay actually while we're at it we might as well put this colour in here which is quite a bluish colour skin tone with blue just going to step out there grabbed a bit of white maybe a bit too much it's all right we can sort of spread it out a bit gets a bit darker towards here so some of that and then, then it's on this part it starts to go more more to the reddish sort of the skin tone of red really Yeah, 
that's nice. Nice and warm. It's quite warm over this side. Just bring that together. All the eyelashes sort of cover that. Okay. And let's just put that brush down in a second. Let's wipe this brush. What I want to do is grab some white into this skin colour with a bit of blue. That's a bit better. And then what I can do is uh, sort of looking at this, looking at this area is actually quite big, isn't it? I didn't notice that before. But it's something the more you do on your picture, okay, I'll grab a bit of this brown actually brown and red, burnt umber and red. I think it's more like that. on this white of the eye now. Get some of this blue. Blue and white. Blue and white. So there's some space for light here, isn't there? Space for light here. Just sort of sitting back, having a look. how it looks. I think this area definitely needs to be darker under here. too bright. Got a bit of skin colour in with the brown and red. Still way too bright. Can grab some black. This is closer.
can play around a bit with this, get some white, oops, I'll just get some pure white because it's going to mix anyway, mix with this. some black. And I've lost a bit of this. Sitting back, having a look. Again, having a look. Okay, I think I'm almost got it. I just need to uh, clean it up a bit. Get rid of this green. Sometimes what I like to do is uh, take it off the easel and then do each arc separately, bringing it towards me if I can't get it perfectly round. But I'm determined. That I can kind of budget together. <laughs> ah, that's close. That's close anyway. Okay, now I want to improve that eye. I put some green in. on my brush so that'll help I create these okay I quite like that I 
might add some bits more here and there. And now what I'm going to do is start adding bits of white in my white and blue just a bit of white I'm going to put a little dot in there as well a little white dot there show light there and I think we've lost some of the darkness here so I'll put a bit more black in there maybe a bit of green in with it as well black and green so we can really create that darkness that goes there okay that's not too bad I think I'd prefer it if this was bigger now how to improve what's what's not quite right and uh, this is the way the process that I always go through always uh, start the painting and then start improving it <laughs> Build it up and up and up. But I think this does show you how to get an eye going. Plus, it's a uh, it's a good little challenge to do. To have a go at painting an eye. going to uh, add a bit of light here it's not quite as bright as this in the picture but I think it'll look better I also want to add some blobs of light there and there in a bit there and then what I've got to think about that needed to be lighter there and there's little light bits here as well but yeah what I've got to think about is the uh, 
the eyelashes because I know those eyelashes are, are what going to uh, improve this picture no end But it is fun doing these light bits, isn't it? I do have a tendency to overdo, though, overdo it. So let's stick in uh, let's, let me just uh, lighten that there. Loving this. <laughs> uh, it just gets. Uh, you just start as you start throwing the paint on. It just gets more and more fun. <laughs> yeah, we need to put some eyelashes in, but I think we've got the eye looking like it's. Um, like it, it's rounded, basically. It looks like it comes out. Probably do it a bit better. And here. I think there could be a bit lighter as well. Anyway, let's start putting highlight, highlights, eyelashes in, uh, see if we can anyway. Whoops. Going to use, just pick my brush up, put the brush on the floor. And we need to use a liner brush really. Needs to be quite Thin. So let's try this one. There's some black on the brush. This is actually a watercolour brush. What I think I'll do as well is get a little bit of oil. A little bit of linseed oil. I'll dip my brush in. This is the water mixable linseed oil. Just to make a nice thin, thin paint. And I'll see if we can just put in a few eyelashes to improve things. No, what a lot of the times when I'm if I'm doing a uh, a portrait or something, I'll leave it to dry, and then uh, do the eyelashes afterwards. Because then, uh, if you make any mistakes, you can just wipe them off. No one will know. <laughs> but I thought, might as well do this all in one go today. Spinning my bristles as I do that, spinning it.
could really do with a finer brush than this one but it's okay it gives you an idea doesn't it doing the under so you can see some of the eyelashes are going the other way It's quite quite good fun doing this. Putting a few eyelashes in. The bottom ones tend to clump together in sort of twos. They're not quite as dark either, it seems. that bit. I'm just going to grab a bit of paint just to get rid of it. Just notice that this area needs to be a bit darker. Let's carry on. Might use the other brush. See how that one goes. Not that one. See if I can use a super fine one. This is a. Uh, oh, I don't actually know because the bit's been broken off. No, it's not as good. I'll stick with this one. Just putting a few more here and then there. Uh, Shows you uh, how to go about it at least. A little bit of fun, a little bit of uh, practice for me. Something different. Yeah. 
with a little bit of brown in, in with that black and then I can create this shape that goes along there <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a disaster line. It's alright though, I can sort that one out. smaller brush make mistakes, we should have complete disasters. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nothing's unfixable. We can create that line that goes there. Something like that. And then uh, I can throw in a few eyelashes over the top. Okay, well I think, I mean, uh, as I always say, I could keep going, and I could. <laughs> I could, I could keep going forever on this one. But I just really wanted to paint the eye, and uh, just to show you how to do one. Um, like I said, I probably would normally, in fact I know I would, I'd paint the eye, let it dry, and then I would add the eyelashes, and I'd use a very oily oil to do it, because I've done that before with other things, and uh, you don't quite have the trouble that I just had. <laughs> but anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode, uh, it's a bit of fun. And uh, I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.